Well, frankly, a Judas Priest, they were the best of friends. So when Frankie Lee needed money one day, Judas quickly pulled out a roll of tents. And he placed them on a footstool, just above the plotted plan. Saying, take your pick, Frankie boy, my loss will be your gain. Well, Frankie Lee he sat right down and put his fingers to his chin. But with the cold eyes of Judas on him, his head began to spin. Would you please not stare at me like that, he said. It's just my foolish pride. But sometimes a man must be alone, and this is no place to hide. But Judas, he just winked and said, All right, I'll leave you here. But you better hurry up and choose which one of those bills you want before they all disappear. I'm gonna start my picking right now. You just tell me where you be. But Judas pointed down the road and said, Eternity. Eternity, said Frankie Lee, with a voice as cold as ice. That's right, said Judas, eternity, though you might call it paradise. Well, I don't call it anything, said Frankie Lee with a smile. All right, said Judas Priest, I'll see you after a while. Frankie Lee sat back down, feeling low and mean. When just then a passing stranger burst upon the scene, saying, Are you Frankie Lee, the gambler, whose father is deceased? Well, if you are, there's a fella calling you down the road. They say his name is Priest. Oh, yes, he is my friend, said Frankie Lee in fright. I do recall him very well. In fact, he just left my sight. Yes, that's the one, said the stranger, as quiet as a mouse. Well, my message is he's down the road and he's stranded in a house. Well, Frankie Lee, he panicked. He dropped everything and ran. Until he came upon the spot where Judas Priest did stand. What kind of house is this, he said, where I have come to roam? It's not a house, said Judas Priest. It's not a house, it's a home. Well, Frankie Lee, he trembled. He soon lost all control over everything which he had made while the mission bells did toll. He just stood there staring in that big house as bright as any sun with four and twenty windows and a woman's face in every one. Well, up the stairs ran Frankie Lee with a soulful bounding leap. And foaming at the mouth, he began to make his midnight creep. For sixteen nights and days he raved, but on the seventeenth he burst into the arms of Judas Priest, which is where he died of thirst. Well, no one tried to say a thing when they took him out in jest. Except, of course, the little neighbor boy who carried him to rest. And he just walked along alone with his guilt so well concealed. And he muttered underneath his breath, nothing is revealed. Well, the moral of the story the moral of this song is simply that one should never be where one does not belong. So when you see your neighbor carrying something, well, you, you help him with his load. 
And don't go mistaking paradise for that home across the road.